All right. We are going to be doing an unboxing video today on the Rush 100 60 liter backpack. So that's what we're doing. This is kind of exciting. If uh, some of y'all have been following my channel, I've had a Rush 24 for quite a number of years. So I'll do a comparison video after we're done with this one. This is also the first actual unboxing video I've ever done. Because I normally am too impatient and I open things right away. piece of cardboard on top. Oof. And the box is empty. Alright. Whoo doggy. This is a big backpack. Obviously that's why I bought it. Like I'm not surprised, but Off of plastic, and then sigh as I realize this thing is going to become covered in cat hair. Wow, that is a big old pack. Dang. All right. Start breaking into it. Pick this up on the Labor Day sale. Saw another video of a guy who recently did the same thing. So, not exactly making new content or exciting content here. It's something that's already out there, but. There's not a lot of videos on this product yet. Um, I think it was SHOT Show 2019 or SHOT Show 2020, whichever one they do. I don't know how, is it a year ahead or whatever? I don't know. I don't pay attention too much. Um, take all the tags off. I think I got one. Yeah. Ooh, I can feel that aluminum frame in there. That's pretty sturdy. Alright. <clears throat> now, God, it is already starting to get covered in cat hair. This is ridiculous. Um, let's see, is there a buckle here? Yep. And a buckle here. Undo those. I am worried sick that this battle belt cummerbund thing won't actually go around my waist. I am very wide. Very, very wide. So we will see. Um, luckily it's removable, so if it doesn't fit, I can just take it off. I'm not going to complain. You know, maybe, honestly, you know, it's, it's just velcro here you could very realistically replace this with any battle belt or cummerbund or whatever um i, I guess it would it would have to be relatively the same size but all right um let's get into the pockets shall we Let's see. I don't see any on the 
on the interior against the back. So that's kind of good because I wouldn't want any there. Um, let's flip it around and it looks like we've got, geez, this thing, it's huge. All right, so we've got, these zippers actually come from the back side. Undo these retention buckles. That opens up the main pocket, which is just massive. And then we've got this aluminum backing, which is something I don't have in any any of my other backpacks. Because the main thing I was excited about with this is that it's such a large backpack, it actually has a frame. So that's exciting, I think. You know, I I've always liked the like look of deployment packs, and that's effectively what this is. This is 511's take on a deployment pack. If I'm not mistaken, obviously I'm not. I'm not military, so I wouldn't know. This is what they call the admin pocket. No, no, that's the, uh, this is what I'm gonna affectionately call the boot pocket. Because every video I've seen talking about this bag, they always say, oh, you can put your boot in there, or your boots in there. I, I don't think I would ever put dirty boots into a nice backpack, but, I mean, this, uh, this is for outdoor use, obviously. Like, you're not just gonna be kind and sweet with this bag. It's not meant for that. You should be roughing it up and treating it all sorts of ways. Here's the admin pocket. Um... bunch of pockets for badges and paperwork and pens and pencils. Passports and any of that nonsense if you know you're doing that for your job or whatever. I don't know why you wouldn't just keep that like in your like wallet or something. I I don't know. I'm an idiot though, so and apparently these these here, these side bags are actually detachable. That's what I understand. Yeah, I can see why they're detachable. That's kind of neat, you know, throw those on something else, but, um, yeah, I'll, uh, do one last look, and that is the 511 Rush 100 60 liter backpack. I'll be doing some more videos on sizing it, wearing it, throwing some extra packs on it and shit, but that's it for the unboxing, so. Have a good one.